Hi everyone, my name is Steve Gray. I'm a UK Business Development Manager in our Infrastructure as a Service team. Today I'm going to talk about all things Microsoft competencies. I'll share my screen. So what are Microsoft competencies? They allow you to demonstrate your proven expertise in delivering quality solutions in one or more specialised area of business. Now Microsoft competencies are designed to prepare you to meet your customers' needs and to help you attract new customers who are looking for Microsoft certified solution providers. Now, you can start off by attaining a silver com competency, which in Microsoft's wording is there to demonstrate your consistent capability and commitment, or attain a gold competency to demonstrate your best in class capability within a Microsoft solution area. Now, why would you want a competency apart from, apart from those areas? Attaining a competency can also be uh, an entry to further benefits and opportunities. Now, you can unlock powerful go-to-market offers and programs that can help you expand your business uh, and also can unlock incentives and rebates that may be er earned through Microsoft directly. Attaining a gold competency gives you the opportunity to pursue and add more advanced specialisations to your portfolio. And these advanced specialisations help you showcase your growing expertise to customers. Now, the easiest way to check your status um, as you attain a competency is to log into your Partner Centre dashboard. Uh, under the MPN section on the Partner Centre menu on the left hand side, you can select competencies and then each of the competency names and specific competency options uh, will be listed and you can click on each of those to view the details and you can actually see what you've completed so far and what the full requirements uh, are for each of those competency areas. Now as you can see on the screen um, there's a lot of competencies to try and get your head around. They're split up into area of applications and infrastructure and data, uh, business applications and modern workplace and security. I just want to highlight uh, a couple of the main ones. So you've got cloud biz app applications, which is for Dynamics. Uh, you've got cloud platform, which would be your go to area for the Azure related areas in cloud. And modern workplace, you would look at small and mid market cloud solutions. Now, silver and gold competencies and the specific areas have different requirements for each um, level that you go through. Now, within each area, there are exams that employees in your company need to take to achieve the competency level you want. And there are also performance requirements. To learn more what's needed to attain silver and gold competencies, you can go on to the Microsoft Partner Network competencies page, which I'll show you now. Now, this page holds all the information around Microsoft's competencies mentioned that you can go to your Partner Centre dashboard to see where you are in relation to attaining any of those competencies. That link will take you there. Alternatively, you could search by a specific competency from this area. So I mentioned the, the main ones that we go through. So Cloud Platform on here, you get the details of what needs to be done and the benefits each of those in lock once you've on there. So the requirements for what you need to do to attain that competency for both silver and gold. There are number, numerous ways to achieve them. Being a managed service provider, the most sensible way is through the Azure consumption option in this case. Uh, so for cloud platform to achieve silver, you would need $15,000 of Azure co consumption in the previous 12 months. And one person must pass one of those exams listed there. Azure developer, an Azure administrator, solutions architect or data engineer. And for gold, you would need $100,000 of consumption in the previous 12 months. And two people need to have taken one of those exams, not two exams, two individuals must pass those exams. Now, all of the other exam uh, co competencies are all listed on there as well. You would just change the tabs to see where you, you are. I mentioned modern workplace and small mid market cloud. Again, you could click in there and it gives you all the information about what is required. Now, the benefits that you get, as I say, listed underneath, go to market resources, technical enablement, pre-sale deployment services, 
product support, signature cloud support, and specific internal use rates, product licenses now referred to by Microsoft. Please get in touch with us if you require any more information on what benefits are included with your competencies, and we can talk you through that. Uh, hope this all makes sense. If you do have any questions, then please get in touch and we can talk you through this in more detail. Thank you.